Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, we're making the Corpse Reviver number two. Easily one of my favorite gin cocktails. Has been for many years. Bright, tart, refreshing, but also nuanced and balanced and smart. And it's number two, which means there's a number one. But let's forget about that one right now because we're making the number two. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make the Corpse Reviver number two to the bar. <clears throat> a reading from the Savoy Cocktail Book. I'm on page 52 if you'd like to follow along. Harry Craddock says, Corpse Reviver number two. One quarter wine glass lemon juice, one quarter wine glass Kina Lele, one quarter wine glass Cointreau, one quarter wine glass dry gin, one dash absinthe. Shake well and strain into cocktail glass. He then goes on to say, four of these taken in swift succession will unrevive the corpse again. Funny man. Truthfully, I would not recommend drinking four of any cocktail in swift succession. Results are not gonna be pleasant. However, the Corpse Survivor number two had the power to revive a corpse with just one. And it's number two, so it was not the first. Truth be told, it probably wasn't the second either. There were numerous Reviver cocktails. The Corpse Revivers were a family of cocktails that date back to the mid 1800s. The idea was this cocktail would revitalize the drinker. A lot of people will say these were the original hair the dog cocktails. So if you had a big night of drinking, the next day, you're not feeling so great, you're supposed to have one of these. I believe this drink was meant to be enjoyed any time of the day. And every bartender would have their own recipe because there was really no true specifications of what a corpse survivor was. Anyway, all those original cocktails, they're all lost in history, except for this one that we're doing today and the number one because it's listed in the Savoy cocktail book. Thank you, Harry Craddock. I know he can't hear me, but if we revived his corpse, he could. For the tools, this drink will be shaken because there's citrus involved. So I've got my Boston shaker, Hawthorne strainer, fine mesh strainer, and a jigger. I'm not doing a garnish. A lot of people will add a cherry to this drink. So if you want a cherry in your corpse survivor, go get a cherry. Now the booze. For this recipe, we're gonna need gin, cokey Americano, orange liqueur, fresh lemon juice, and absinthe. The gin I'm using is the Botanist Isla Dry Gin. The Cokey Americano is Cokey Americano. The orange liqueur is Luxardo Triplum Triple Sec. And the absinthe is La Clendestine. Real quick, you can use whatever gin you want. The original recipe called for dry gin. And what I like about the Botanist for this cocktail is it offers a little bit of texture. It has kind of like a, not oily, but like a, a silky texture that's just really nice in the drink. As for the Cokey Americano, now, the original recipe called for Kina Lele, which is a fortified wine that had quinine included. Now, in 1986, they took out the vast majority of the quinine and rebranded it as Lille Blanc, which is lighter, sweeter, and less bitter on the finish. Koki Americano is actually closer to the Kina Lele recipe, so that's why I'm using it. But if you have Lille Blanc, you could use that too. For the orange liqueur, I'm using a triple sec, specifically triplum triple sec, because it's one of my favorites and it's what I have on hand. Again, if we refer back to the original recipe, it called for Cointreau, which a lot of people are gonna have, and Cointreau is wonderful. So if you have Cointreau, use Cointreau, you'll be very happy. As for the absinthe, you could use Pastis if you want. This is just gonna be a rinse in the glass. And for that, I like to use an atomizer. This is just more efficient. And it smells good. <laughs> Let's build. Also at this time, get your glassware chilling. It's gonna be served up. I'm serving it in a coupe but whatever glass you want. Let's start with the gin. Three quarters of an ounce of gin. Three quarters of an ounce of Cokey Americano or Lille Blanc. Three quarters of an ounce of your orange liqueur. And three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Now we add ice and shake. About 10 seconds. Get your chilled cocktail glass and we can give it a rinse of the absinthe. So with the little atomizer, I'm just gonna spritz it into the glass and get an even coating on the inside. As much as you want, really. It smells really good, like fresh fennel. And then double strain the cocktail into the cocktail glass. 
Now garnish, if you want, you can drop that cherry in or you could put a lemon zest on top. You could even do another spritz of absinthe on top, but I'm not gonna do anything. Cheers, everyone. The Corpse Survivor number two. Perfection in a glass. Just a little bit of absinthe on the end really makes it all come together. You get the juniper from the gin, then you get the brightness from the lemon, the orange sweetens it up a little. A plus cocktail. I hope you try this one at home. You're gonna like it. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you change anything. If you go with Lille Blanc, you could even use a dry vermouth, see what that's like. Try any gin you want, you could swap it out for rum. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified the next time a video comes out. I'll see you next time. Cheers.